Well, it is a rainy season. We do expect afternoon thunderstorms, but we're going to continue with consistent storms each and every afternoon. In fact, we're already getting some showers, but first I want to show you and Carly a live view. Out I like of this the view. Yes, <laughs> oh, I know. Key West, you always look so gorgeous. And uh, although there have been a few showers for the upper keys this morning, most of the keys really has been dry to start off and beautiful skies, a couple clouds, the wind out of the south and by the way, no advisories for boaters out there. Seas around two feet, if not just less than that. 84 degrees in Key West, 86 in Marathon, and the low 80s stretching all the way up into Broward. Winds out of the south. Winds are very light. But the flow, not only at the surface, but in the upper levels, does continue to remain out of the south and southwest. And so notice all this uh, shower activity. Well, it's tracking basically towards the north and east. And we already are seeing a few of these showers hit, impacting Miami-Dade County. Over the 18-mile stretch, it looks like it's just clipping Homestead, but it's going to be an impact for the Homestead Air Force Base. Ocean Reef also with a hefty shower there. And just to the west of Key Largo over the Florida Bay, there is a heavy downpour. I don't want to rule out water spouts associated with this, so boaters keep that in mind, although there are no advisories. So later on this morning, you notice it's dry for the rest of the area, but we are expecting later on this morning for the activity to get going as early as 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. out west and then track on eastward. This is a look at the total rainfall forecast through tonight, uh, 8 p.m. General, generally, we'll get another half to two inches of rainfall just like we did yesterday. So that could essentially cause some flooding out there and isolated amounts of three inches in a few spots. Meanwhile, there is that stretch of wet weather spreading up into the Ohio Valley all associated with a low pressure system. That's going to keep us hot and humid and stormy, not only for today with a high of 93, but also as we head into the work week. And if you're going to be out and about each and every day, you must take the rain gear with you. Pack the patience, uh, pack your patience on the roadways. It could get slippery at times as well.